Here I want to compare how DocuSign and Dot Loop are for digital signing. This is the regular Android, Samsung phone, regular screen size. I think both of them need a lot of work. I think they need to test it on an Android phone and uh, change the fonts and whatnot and make it so that there's fewer clicks possible. So here I like that there's no graphics so that you don't have to get the error saying show images. But I wouldn't mind all of this to be higher up so you don't have to scroll down so much to view the document. Obviously this has a lot of text, but imagine if it was just even one line of text. Uh, if there's one line of text, you should be able to have the view document button a little bit higher. Maybe even putting it at the bottom and at the top. So I click on view document. It launches. This is a processing code. Here in the upper right hand corner, obviously not designed for Android, has not been I doubt that they tested it much on the Android or they're fine with it minimally working. Can't read it, so you've got to do another touch point and another touch point and another touch point to read it. And it says, go to first field or I'm done. This form has been sent to be filled out uh, and these are different boxes that you can type in. But I'm actually just going to go straight to signing. So I'm looking for the red boxes that will appear at the bottom of the page once it's done processing. The keyboard came up because I must have pressed somewhere near the page. Okay, crashed. So let's try it again. View documents. Again, I wish they would have a room of 10 people on Android phones and watch them do this and say, hmm, is there a faster or more efficient way for me to do this? So still loading, upper left hand corner. I'm looking for two red boxes to know where to sign. So this doesn't even make sense now why it's why that was able to load but not where you're actually supposed to sign. Boom, there it shows up. So that it would be very confusing. A consumer is going to get that thing and be like, "Well, where do I sign? Where do I sign?" They're not going to know that yes, the top part was able to load but the signing part was not. Um, so the other error is the problem is that it has two red boxes. Well, one buyer is not going to sign for both people. So one should be highlighted and the other one should not be for buyer one, for buyer two. Um, this will confuse consumers and it's not necessarily just a design flaw in my opinion. So I press buyer one, nothing happens. Press buyer two, I can no longer see the, the swirly bar, so I don't know, maybe it's processing or something. Let's go down, nope, not processing. So maybe I can zoom in more and click on it or click on it twice. Is it processing? I'm on a very fast Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's just processing or what's going on here. Very, great. So now something's something's happening. It's a pop-up box that's going to ask me how I want my signatures done. On DocuSign, it does it actually at the beginning, which I think is actually much better at the first screen to say, hey, approve your signature like this. So I don't know what's going on here. Um, I don't know where the document is, so I gotta scroll out and see if I can find, oh, look, there's the pop-up. So instead of having the confirmed signature on the left-hand side, they put it on the right-hand side. Again, someone who's not tested it on an Android. Would have been a lot more logical to put it on the left-hand side so I don't have to do this extra step of scrolling over. Might seem like just one more step, but when you have another 20 or 30 of these one more steps, it adds up to 30, 60 different touch points. So confirm and sign. Again, that should be on the left-hand side and they should be more cognizant of where the pop-up pops up, especially if you're already required to be zoomed in on the other on the other area. You won't be able to see that, that the pop-up is there. And that's going to confuse consumers and first-timers because this is supposed to be designed for people who've never done it before, not for people that go through one-hour training. Um, so now I've confirmed signing, but I don't know where anything is. Oh, wait, right there. So it showed the... Uh, the initials there, so I don't know what to do. So I've got to, I guess I zoom out. Oh, I'm zooming out. Oh, now I've got to zoom in because there's something blue there because I don't know how to get to the next one. What does it say? Jump to the next field. So instead of just actually jumping and taking me to the next field, I've got to click again, jump to the next field. So if I've got a page with 15 signatures, I now have to do another 15 button presses to jump to the next field plus another scroll and zoom to go in there. So that's 30, 45 button presses and it didn't even work.
it's making me fill in date and time, which I don't want to do because I already have a time, uh, a date already in there. So last time it let me jump to the next field. Maybe if I zoom in. No, it's making me, it's making me put in a date. Didn't make me do that last time. Hopefully it's not going to be picky on that. Okay. Now it wants me to put the seller's date and time. Again, not logical, not well thought out. That's not, that doesn't make any sense. So I want to jump to the next field to sign. Jump me to the next field. Okay, let's just skip, see if we can skip all that and ignore all that. This is not user friendly. And let's go to the next uh, red box here. So I'm going to try and click on the red box for buyer signing. It's not working because it doesn't recognize it because you've got to zoom in. So I zoom in, it's not processing, it's not doing anything. So I guess at this zoom level, it's either still loading the document and the higher resolution. So is this better than, you know, waiting to drive to the offers or go to Kinko's? Yeah, sure, but it just has so much more improvement that can be made. So I'm down here, buyer. Still pressing it. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, we're again on a super fast Wi Fi speed. It's now done a whole bunch of processing because it was backlogged probably. And that's my signature. I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Date and time. I don't want date and time. Because I already have the date in there. Here, jump to next field. I don't know where it's jumping me to. It's jumping me back to the date and time there. I don't want that. I want to go to the next signature. I'm done. Let's see what that does. I'm going to give up here shortly. Now just flash something real fast, saving. Uh, assigned to no one is what it says. Congratulations. I don't know what it's congratulating me for because I didn't sign all the doc, didn't sign all the different pages. So it didn't, it was not able to recognize that I had not signed at all, even though I pressed I'm done. Uh, that doesn't seem too smart. So anyhow, that's how that works. Let's Here's see the test of the DocuSign signing via an Android phone, Samsung. So I don't like how it says show pictures and has graphics in there because then you have to press show pictures and always show. I wish it was just didn't have images. But here, view document. And right at the beginning of view document, uh, they did not, I don't think they designed this for the Android uh, very well because the I agree button, yes, these things are larger so it's better than dot loop in that sense. Click on I agree and you think you're all done, but you actually have to scroll just a little bit to adopt the second thing, to adopt your signature, and then press continue. I think they could have sensed the browser screen and done this in a manner where it would all be on one page with the continue button on one page. People should be counting the number of presses to get something done and trying to reduce that. So I press continue and I'm waiting for it now to, I guess, load the document. I am on a strong Wi-Fi connection. Press it again and seem to process. So I don't know why I did that. So the signature is down here in the upper lower right hand corner, but up in, in the upper right hand corner it says sign page. Very, very tiny. That again wasn't designed with Android phone in mind. It could have easily been larger font if sensed that it's on an Android phone. So it says sign page in the upper left hand corner, but the problem with that 
Okay, that time it worked, but oftentimes when I try to click on it, it actually, the other buttons are too close to it. So someone didn't have a bunch of people testing this. The other buttons are too close to it. So I frequently, see I hit the previous button. I was actually trying to hit the other button underneath and it, and it goes back. This is what pops up when you accidentally hit the scroll bar for additional actions. It gives you a pop-up box with uh, five different choices. So the sign page button should be much larger and all these other advanced things should be way off to the right so you don't accidentally click on it. Why not use this dead space over here on the right instead of using um, having things so close to the sign button. So a little bit more thought could be put into that. So again, normally when I have to sign, I've got to zoom in and uh, zoom in and scroll up to do a sign page if I'm in a car, a red light or something or pulled over. Um, and then at the end, again, you've got to zoom in, scroll to do complete signing. Someone could have designed that so that you can just uh, see it much more easily. And then it's completed. So the DocuSign is much simpler than the other one, um, but they both have rooms for it.